Hi there. Today I'm going to be starting on my Halloween projects. I have got a plan in mind and it's going to be sort of a mini series of two videos that I'm going to be releasing. Um, one that is kind of like an accessory and then the main part of the project. So let's jump right into it and I will show you what I am cooking up. So if you couldn't guess from that, I am making a witch costume this year, starting with the hat. I have never made a hat that wasn't knit before, so this is gonna be really interesting. I'm gonna try to do this all today. It is 1.25 p.m. on a Sunday. <laughs> I'm gonna try to get to do all of this today and we'll see if I'm successful. And I'm going to only be using things that I have in my craft room right now. Luckily, and this may seem like cheating, I have actually been stocking up on some millinery supplies for a couple of years now. Um, just a couple of basic things. So I have millinery wire, I have the little like connector tubey thingies. Don't know what they're called. Uh, <laughs> and I have a little bit of buckram on hand. So I'm pretty ahead of the game for that part. Um, my goal is to make this kind of a medium firmness hat. I don't I feel like I'm describing tofu right now. <laughs> so I've seen people do some pretty floppy hats. I've also seen people do really stiff hats. Um, I think I want something kind of in the middle. I would like it to do, you know, the cute little flop over in the back thing like I showed in the art for the costume, but um, I'm not really sure how to achieve that yet. So I think I'm gonna aim for buckram in the brim with the wire and then interfacing in the crown point tube cone part, whatever it's called. So I'm going to start by pulling all of my materials that I'm gonna need for this and we'll go from there. <laughs> Okay, so we have some options here. We've either got the purple for the lining or gray, which is a little flimsier. I think I'm probably gonna go with the purple because it's just a little sturdier. And we have two different bowls. We have this one, which has this little diagonal stripe in it. And then we have this one, which is actually the remnants of the fabric that I'm using to make the wool cloak right now. Um, I kind of am tempted to do this because then it would match that. And I think the subtler, pattern is nice. This is a nice wool coating. This is all meant to coordinate with the dress that I'm making, which is going to be made out of this. And I do think I like these two together better. So let's hold up the lining as well. So we have the purple. That's really fun. And then we have the gray, which is, you know, that's just a little too bland. So, so we're going to go with this one as long as I've got enough, this purple. And then for my brim decoration, I have it this which is super fun. It's incredibly shiny. And I'm going to make a little like detachable hat decoration because I do plan on using this hat for multiple costumes in the future and I would like to have it be useful for more than just this. So I'm gonna make this detachable using some snaps, um, make like a little thing that it attaches to. Um, I'm gonna pleat it down onto like a band that goes around the hat. So now that I have all my fabrics chosen, I am going to start drafting my pattern out and we'll see how that goes. So the first thing I did was start working on the pattern for this. I first measured my head circumference and then added one inch to that number for a little bit of ease so that I could actually get the hat on and off. Then I calculated the radius of my 
head measurement and made a circle. And then once I had that done, I turned that into an ellipse oval thing because um, heads are not actually perfectly round. <laughs> So I took off a half inch on the sides and added a half inch to the back and front. And that ended up making a really nice ellipse shape and it actually ended up fitting me perfectly. And then I made the actual brim part. Total diameter of the hat is 18 inches. And then I needed a break. <laughs> Time to direct the cone. <laughs> I used a tutorial to make the cone part of the hat. I'll link it below in the description so that you can use it as well. Because I don't think I can reliably uh, describe the instructions for it. <laughs> but I just drafted that cone shape and then cut it out. Okay, so I've made my cone a little too small in the base, so I'm just going to add on a little bit, but I think the overall height is great. It's very witch hat, which is awesome. So I just need to add a little bit, I'm going to take all this tape off, add a little bit to this, and then we can start cutting things out. So I started with the buckram layer and traced my brim onto that. cut that out. I would definitely say use paper scissors for this. Um, I feel like it would definitely damage my fabric scissors. And then I attached my millinery wire using a zigzag stitch on my machine. And then pinned it to the outside fabric and sewed it down on both the outer edge and the inner edge of the hat. Then I realized that my brim was not stiff enough, so I added a second layer of buckram. And then I pinned the brim so far to another piece of the outer fabric so that I could attach them together and flip them later. And then with my remaining fabric scraps, I traced out my cone and cut it out. repeated the process with my interfacing. It was necessary for me to interface my lining because it is a satin and it's pretty floopy. I wanted it to be a bit stiffer and stand up. Okay, so it is 9.45 um, on Sunday. I am kind of done for the night. Um, we're at the point where filming is not gonna go well for certain steps of this just because of the, the light issue. <laughs> um, so I am going to go ahead and stop for tonight and then try and finish it tomorrow evening. Um, I still think that that would count as like a one day project just because I did start at like 1.30 and because I did take a couple of fairly long breaks in there that maybe I shouldn't have done. My brim is almost entirely constructed. Um, I've got two layers of buckram here. I've got one layer of the brim fabric itself attached to the buckram and then the other part is pinned on and ready to go tomorrow evening. And then I've got my outer cone fabric cut out, which you can't really see because it's so dark. <laughs> and then I've got the interfacing for my lining cut out. Um, I have not interfaced that because I did want to film that part and you literally cannot tell over at my ironing board what color my fabric is because it's so dark in here. I think I can definitely get it done tomorrow night um, and I am so excited to have my first like nice quality witch hat. Um, I had like, you know, the, the 
costume kind of when I was a kid, but um, this is really exciting. So I will see you tomorrow afternoon, evening-ish, and uh, we'll get going from there. Okay, so it is now Friday. Uh, go me. Uh, life happened and that's just how things go sometimes. So I'm going to try to finish this hat tonight um, so that I can start working on my other part of this project, which is a dress. Um, so I've got most of the brim done. Um, I literally just need to sew around this edge at this point to attach the like other side of the fabric to the this part. <laughs> um, and then I get to attempt to flip this right side out, which is going to be a time, I think. And then when that's done, I just have to sew the like the top part. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump right into that and then we will go from there. So the first thing I did was attach my interfacing to my lining fabric. I used a press cloth for this because I didn't want the interface to stick to my iron. And that turned out really nicely. And then I cut that out. Unfortunately, I did forget to add seam lines to the bottom of the cone, but it ended up being fine. I absolutely love this purple satin. And then I sewed my lining cone together and trimmed the tip of it so that it would come to a nice point. Then I finally sewed the second layer of the main fabric to my brim. Or I did this using my zipper foot so that I could get really close to the wire without damaging my sewing machine. And then I used a rotary cutter to trim out the inner part of the brim so that, you know, my head could actually go through it. <laughs> and trimmed the seam allowance off the outside of the brim so that it wasn't bulky. I flipped the brim right side out off camera because it was not a good experience. <laughs> and yes, that is a skirt mock-up that I'm using as a press cloth. <laughs> Next up, I sewed my outer fabric cone together and trimmed the tip of that as well. That one was particularly important. Then I attached my outer cone to my brim, which was a really terrible filming experience, so uh, the footage isn't great. And then I realized I did need to add a wire to my cone so that I could force it to kind of flop over in a cute way, so I twisted two pipe cleaners together, folded the ends so that they weren't sharp, and then stitched this little wire contraption to the seam allowance of the outer cone. I didn't want to use the millinery wire for this because it was just way too stiff, so two pipe cleaners it was. And then once that was done, it was time for me to stitch my lining in. 
I did this by hand. I do intend to cover this with a grow green ribbon at some point, um, just to protect that those edges from any wear and tear, but that can happen later. And then it was time to make my decorative hat band thing. So I'm going to attach this to that and then leave this down to match it. And that will be my hat band. So I tacked those pleats down by hand after I sewed the uh, really truly horrible um, to sew with gold fabric to the black backing fabric. Really, don't use this stuff, it's, it's awful. Then I sewed some green ribbon to the ends of this so that it would encase all of the raw edges and to give a nice sturdy surface for my snaps to attach to. Speaking of which, here are the snaps. I attached two snaps so that it was nice and secure. Then I tacked my bow onto the one that would be on the top. And once that was done, it was time for the reveal. I hope you enjoyed this and don't forget to subscribe so that you can see the next installment in my Halloween series for this year. See you next time!